Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, as you can tell on the title, it's a shad recipe. So, I've never cooked shad before. <laughs> I've never cooked shad before, but I have eaten it. And it does taste really, really good. And I also read on the internet that it's really rich in omega-3s and other fatty acids. But it's a really, really bony fish. Here we go. Baked shad. So I'm gonna start by filleting this. I'm just gonna fillet it like a normal fish, and then just, yeah. Not the prettiest filleted, but it'll do. Okay, so I got them filleted, and now I'm gonna take the skins off of them. So I got the fillets, skinned and everything. I got the eggs. These are edible, by the way. You just gotta fry them in a little bit of butter or olive oil, and just put them in the little flour, and then put them in oil or butter and they actually taste kind of good. They kind of taste a little fishy, but that doesn't really bother me. It might bother some of you, but for those of you who don't mind fishy flavor, give shad eggs a try. They're pretty good. Look how green everything looks. I love spring. It's just everything green. Still rainy, kind of, but it's okay. Everything's green and the leaves are finally starting to get back on the trees. The cherry tree has finally leaves. It's awesome. It just started raining harder, but I got all of this on a rack and I'm gonna put a little salt, pepper, and a little bit of butter on this. And we should put it in the oven and it should be good to go. So I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on it right now. Salt first. And the pepper. And a little bit of butter on top of every piece. So I got the butter on everything, salt, pepper on everything. Now they're gonna go in the oven for, I think about 375 degrees for 20 minutes. And then we'll see how they're doing. And if they're ready, we'll just take them out and I'll try one for you guys. Okay, 375 degrees, about 30 minutes later. They really look good. My mom tried one, she said it was really good, so I'm gonna try one now. Oh, this spray's pretty good. I think it's pretty good, but like I said before, it has a lot of bones. A lot. But if there was no bones, it'd be a pretty good eating fish. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, like, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one.